Hello, everybody. My name is Kelsey Taylor. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I am filming on my phone again because I still haven't gotten my camera to be upright and working properly. Today, we're going to have a very fun topic, the mystery myth of Lilith. So I am reading this book right now. It's called Before Eve, There Was Lilith. And it's a very, very interesting concept. I saw this book in Barnes and Noble, Barnes and Noble last year and it really caught my eye on the whole subject. Before Eve there was Lilith. Lilith and Adam are equal and happy in the Garden of Eden. Until Adam decides Lilith should submit to his will and lie beneath him. She refuses and is banished from paradise forever. Demonized and sidelined, Lilith watches in fury as God creates Eve, the woman who accepts her submission. But Lilith has a secret. She has already tasted the fruit of the tree of knowledge. Endowed with wisdom, she already knows why Asherah, God's wife and equal, the queen of heaven, is missing. Lilith has a plan. She will rescue Eve, find Asherah, restore balance to the world, and regain her rightful place in paradise. In the modern age, as she observes the catastrophic consequences of a world built, on inequality, Lilith finally understands what must be done to correct the wrongs done to women and all humankind at the beginning of time. Inspired by ancient myths and suppressed scriptures, Lilith is a thought-provoking and ambitious novel with an evocative literary voice and a triumphantly engaging heroine. Such an interesting concept to me because it's mentioned in the Bible very subtly. She is that we believe mentioned in a Bible verse. It's from Isaiah 34, 14. The desert creature will meet with the wolves. The goat also will cry to its kind. Yes, the night bird will settle here and will find herself a resting place. It's not very detailed on Lilith, but it does like mention her as the night creature the only mention in the original hebrew bible of the word lilith is in isaiah 34. the night bird in hebrew is translated lilith definition of being a night specter and i even got my bible here that i want to read to you isaiah 34 14 the wild beasts of the desert shall also meet with the wild beasts of the island and the satire shall cry to his fellow the screech owl also shall rest there and find for herself a place of rest so yes it does mention lilith here as a screech owl the fact is is that it does mention it throughout many generations folk tales throughout europe have carried a fascination with the fictional character lilith and over the centuries have attracted the attention of some of europe's well known artists and writers. Lady Lilith, he painted this in 1867. Rossetti here imagines legendary femme fatale as a self-absorbed 19th century beauty. Nearby flowers symbolize different kinds of love. Her character is underscored by lines from Goat's Faust attached by Rossetti to the original frame. Beware, for she excels all women in the magic of her locks and when she twines them round a young man's neck she will not ever set him free again this painting was so beautiful i saw it at the dante rossetti exhibition that took place last year it just strikes such an interest in me how lilith has been such an inspiration to artists the bible mentions the lilith only once as a dweller in waste places but the character of the Lilith as a seductor or slayer of children has a long prehistory in 
ancient Babylon religion. Another great painting that I absolutely love of Lilith is this beautiful portrait painted by John Collier in 1887. Collier portrayed Lilith as a golden-haired, porcelain-skinned, beautiful nude woman who fondles on her shoulder the head of a serpent, coiled around her body in a passionate embrace. Against the background of a dark brown green jungle. In the Renaissance, Michelangelo portrayed Lilith as a half woman, half serpent, coiled around the tree of knowledge. Her enchanted hair, he wrote, was the first gold. Irish novelist James Joyce cast her as the patron of abortions. In Jewish legend, the name Lilith was attached to the woman who was created at the same time as Adam. This next photograph is a very interesting one. This one says, Bind Lilith in Chains, reads a warning in Hebrew. The image of Lilith appears at center. The small circles that outline her body represent a chain. The divine name is written in code down her chest. Beneath this is a prayer, protect this boy who is newborn from all harm and evil. Amen. This next painting is a stained glass window at a cathedral. It shows Adam, Eve, and Lilith disguised as a snake in the Garden of Eden. I think it's so interesting to see so many different adaptions and so many different paintings that are inspired by this myth. Was the unnamed woman created in Genesis 1 someone other than Eve and was it Lilith? This intriguing question likely circulated in Jewish mythology and folklore for centuries. Then in the 9th century CE we got the first full-blown treatment of Lilith. The infamous account appears in the alphabet of Ben Sarah, a satirical and borderline heretical Jewish text from the Middle Ages that poked fun at biblical figures. Lilith has also shown up in TV shows such as The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina and Scooby-Doo. All of this wrapped up, I am so interested to know what your thoughts are on this whole Lilith myth. It's just a subject that's really fascinated me. Again, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you had a very interesting take on this mythical creature of the night. Thank you so much for listening and I'll catch you in the next video.